Congress. But let's move, move on here to tax reform quickly. You've been you've been uh, talking to the president about uh, making deals with the president. Is this something you can uh, do a deal with the president on? Well, look, we Democrats sent a letter uh, to the Republican leadership and the president said that here were three things that we thought tax reform ought to have. One, it tax breaks ought not to go to the top 1%. But ought to be focused on the middle class. Two, it ought not blow a hole in the deficit. And three, it ought to be done in a bipartisan way, not through reconciliation. Unfortunately, the Republican plan doesn't uh, agree with any of those. First, it's completely focused on the wealthy and the powerful, uh, not on the middle class. Second, it blows a huge hole in the deficit. And third, they said they're going to do it through reconciliation. That's a partisan process. It excludes Democrats. It's the same process that led to the demise on health care. And let me just address one thing, John. Uh, Speaker Ryan kept, keeps saying it helps the middle class. That's not true. What he's saying and what the plan is are totally different. Let me go over three quick points. One, they get rid of the estate tax. The only people who benefit are the very wealthy. Estates over $11 million. 5,000 million, 5, estates will get over $3 million each. Second, they lower the top rate from 39 to 35. That affects the wealthy. They raise the lowest rate uh, from 10 to 12. That affects working people. But that also knocks finally, a lot of people off the rolls, Senator. People well, no longer have to pay taxes, which means that's good for well, them. No, they already don't have to pay taxes, but to lower the uh, top rate and raise the bottom rate does not make any sense at all. And third, here's what the Tax Policy Center, 80 percent, 80 percent of the tax breaks in their plan are aimed at the top 1 percent. And the po top 0.1 percent, the people who make over five million dollars who are one in a thousand get a tax break of over a million dollars. So the middle class at the same time is hurt. Just one more point here. What? The Achilles heel of this, the first one, there are many, is state and local deductibility. In suburban, fairly well-off districts, Republican, uh, throughout the states like New York, California, Illinois, New Jersey, those people, even with the standard deduction, will pay a lot more. But why It'll should be a real why test of their Congress people? It should be a real test of their Congress people whether they vote with their constituents or they vote with the hard right ideology against uh, state and local uh, deductibility. Well, the argument on state and local is why should Alabama subsidize New York? But it sounds like you're basically out now to stop this bill, not to shape it. Well, we'd like them to change. We would like them to really say it'll be deficit neutral instead of using these fake numbers that say, oh, there'll be huge growth. You know, they tried that in Kansas. That's Charles Koch State. And this was the great experiment. They dramatically cut taxes and said there's going to be growth and an increase in the, um, in, in the surplus. Well, after they did it, not that they predicted that the uh, surplus would go up 300 million it went down the deficit went down 700 million they had to cut money for schools and infrastructure and then they had to put in a tax increase me... and did did Kansas grow no last year its growth was 0.2 percent versus US growth at 1.6 me... so this idea that cutting taxes on the wealthy this trickle-down economics which the Republican Party loves does not create growth, it never has. Does not reduce the deficit, it never has. George Bush, his tax cuts, 2001, 2003, they said right. after 10 years the deficit will go down. It went up by CBO's point, 1.6 trillion. So this is fake numbers helping the very, right. very wealthy, ignoring the middle class. Uh, and what Ryan said and what his proposal are are totally different. All right, well, we're out of time, Senator. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. We'll I feel strongly our... about this. Indeed. But we want to work with them if they will change. We uh. do. They have to, cha they have they to might consult have... us. They... <laughs> they, you know, they have to consult us. They can't just put down a plan and All say right. bipartisanship is you guys come over and uh, do what we want when it's against our principles. All right. Well, you've been talking to the president. I bet you'll give him that message. Thanks, I Senator. Will. We'll be back <laughs> with our panel. Don't go away.